We all know these typing speed tests. As a coder, I type at around 90 words per minute. But I was wondering, can I engineer something a lot faster? Welcome to Tech Tribe. Today we'll be making a typing bot. So the first thing is we need to give our bot the ability to type. So uh, we'll install a keyboard library in Python and uh, let's see how it works. I'm going to import the library and then I will use the wait command. So the wait command waits until you press a certain key and uh, then it will execute the next statement. So our statement will be just to type hello world. So let's run this program. And uh, when I put my cursor here and press the escape key, it instantly writes hello world. There's no delay, it's very fast. But we can specify a delay. So we'll specify a delay of, uh, let's say, uh, 0 0.1 seconds between each stroke. And let's repeat the same thing. And now you can see it types gradually, much like a human would. I wanted to try the program on this website because we can select a specific passage. So there's no need for us to do any type of text recognition or web scraping. Um, so I'll just type in the first sentence here and then press escape and let it do its thing. And nothing happened. Let me see if my program works outside of the window. So I'll press escape here and sure enough it is typing correctly. So maybe this website blocks this type of typing. So I decided to settle for this one. It's called the Ratatype. And uh, here we have text and it's just a normal website. We can try the first sentence again. And if we press escape, we'll see that it indeed works. So we're typing at about 120 words per minute. So I'm glad that our typing works, but now we kind of need to get the text somewhere because if you reload the page, the passage changes. So we should do some image extraction. I'll make a fake email for this website so that we can uh, maybe get on the leaderboards if our program works. I also just found this tutorial, which allows us to use OpenCV and Tesseract in order to get text from an image. Um, so we need to download an executable and also use this code. So this code kind of just detects the text using various thresholding methods in OpenCV and then sends it off to the executable to give us the string of text that it found. So here I found the executable that we're supposed to download for Windows and I'm going to go ahead, download, install it and make sure to run my antivirus on it because I have no idea what's there. Um, and hopefully everything works and meanwhile I'll install OpenCV and PyTesseract uh, into my virtual environment. So there are no viruses and I indeed installed the executable correctly. So here's the path to the executable from my specific computer, it might be different for yours. So this code uh, reads an image from the directory, applies various thresholding and dilations, and then um, gets the text and uh, writes it to a file called recognize.txt. And I'll fill in the missing parentheses right there. Um, so let's get a sample image to try this on. So I'll just use the one from uh, the Geeks for Geeks website and I'll call it sample.jpg. Um, or I'll misspell it. Let's make sure to correct that uh, in our code. So here we'll use a sample spelled incorrectly because that's how I name my file. And let's just run this. I forgot to comment out the keyboard code, so I'll just let it type its thing because I don't really know how to stop this. Um, so let's just comment it out while we're testing this feature. Uh, but we should have some text in the recognize.txt file in our directory. So let's check. And it actually worked if we uh, slide in the window text is at a different regions and this is sample text. So I'm really happy this worked out. So that means uh, we can now test this on the actual website. So I'm going to get my snipping tool and uh, just uh, take a little screenshot of this text to see if we can recognize this text because this will be a crucial part for the project. Okay, let's try it. Uh, so text.png, let's run this. Um, it took under a second, so that's good news. Then let's go to recognized, and we see some text, so that's good. Um, but the text seems to be in a different order, so this is kind of strange. So you see it starts with a lowercase letter, so um, I don't know what's really happening. So let's show the rectangle that's used to detect the text. So it starts with detecting the bottom, the bottom sentence, and then it only detects the top half. Um, so I kind of want this to be detected as one kind of complete thing. So I think here we have a setting which says a smaller value will detect each word while a larger value can increase the area. So we'll increase this to 30 comma 30 instead of 18 comma 18. And let's run this again. And we have one coherent block of text. So that is good. Uh, so now we can use that whole string to type it out. We actually don't need to save this text to a file because we'll be using it directly. So I'll remove all of those parts. And at the very end of the script, we'll just print the text, which we'll define at the top will be our global variable. Um, so let's see what we get. So my first concern is uh, Bon Hancock, not John Hancock. So that's a pretty big problem. Um, so the first letter is incorrect. Also, you can see that the text has a bunch of new lines, which we really don't need to do when we're typing. So we should replace those with simple spaces. 
So if we look, it's understandable why the first letter was incorrect because the website highlights it in green. So um, we need to fix that problem. But first, I'll just refactor the code to have one function where you pass in the image and it gives you the text string in return. We are done with that. And then in the return string, we'll just replace the new line character with a space. So hopefully they'll fix their second problem. Now on to the first problem. So I notice if you are just starting out, you can see the first word very clearly uh, behind this uh, modal, which if you click start typing now, you'll see the clear text. So I'm wondering if our program can detect it when it has less contrast. So I'll just take a screenshot of the first line and see if we can get the first word, because that is the only word that we're having a problem with. So let's give it a try. So I'm going to run this on the image we just saved. And we got it was only after 440 and so on. So we got the first word correctly in the whole sentence, actually. Uh, so that's good. I think I'm going to take two screenshots. The first screenshot just for the first word, and the second screenshot when you can see all of the passage for everything else. I created this script using pineput uh, to tell us which coordinates our mouse is clicking on because we kind of need to know which area to take the screenshot off for all of this to work. Um, so yeah, this basically prints x and y coordinate of any click. So if I start clicking around here, you can see those coordinates. So I'll run the script again, and then I'll go to the page, and I'll make clicks um, in the corners of the window that I would be uh, taking a screenshot of. And if I go back to the page, oops, wrong page, it'll register a bunch of clicks, but uh, the second to fifth clicks are the coordinates that I want. And I'll do the same thing for the second screenshot, which captures the entire area. So I just got this library, which will help us make screenshots. Uh, so it is very easy to use. You just type uh, pi auto GUI dot screenshot and then the name of the file you want to save so I'll just do scrad.png then I'll run the program and hopefully it just takes a screenshot of the entire screen so I'll go back to our folder and uh, hopefully I find the file that we're looking for there and as expected here we have the file and it is the screenshot of the screen we were looking at using the coordinates I got earlier I can make these two commands one that takes a screenshot of the top line the other one that takes a screenshot of everything and it saves it to uh, files first.png and text.png so the arguments are x, y, with height. So we'll use that get text function to get the first word, because then we'll split that string and just get the first word of it. Then we'll do the same thing for all other words, except we will split the string um, just once, and then we'll take the second element of it, which is every word but the first. So basically, we have to take the screenshot, press the start typing button, and then take another screenshot, and only then start typing. So we can just wait until we press escape, um, then let's make our final text string, which will be first word plus the rest, and then keyboard.write text with a delay of 0.1, then we'll import keyboard at the top. So I think this is the complete program. Let's give it a try. But before that, quick recap. So we take the first screenshot, we extract the first word, take the screenshot of everything else, and extract every word but the first word, and then we kind of mash those two parts together to get the complete passage. And then we simply type. Okay, let's run it. So I'll click the run button. And now it's waiting for me to press escape. Uh, so I'll go to the website, refresh the page. I'll press escape for to get the first word, which is Marco. Um, so now I've pressed escape. So let's just check in our folder to see if uh, the screenshot was correctly taken. So I'll go to bot and then I'll go to first.png. So this was a successful screenshot. So now I'll go back. I'll press start typing. I'll press escape. And now it will take the second screenshot and begin typing. And it is typing except it's really slow, it's at like 20 words per minute. I think I messed up the delay. Yeah, I think I meant 0 0.07, not, not 0 0.7. Um, that should fix it, so let's try it again. Again, I will run this. Um, I'll go back to this page, refresh, escape, then start typing, and then escape again. So that is the sequence. And let's see. Oh, and it's now typing at a very good pace, about 168 words per minute. And it's actually not making any mistakes, so our um, character retrieval software is actually doing pretty well. And now that it's finishing up, we're at 166 words per minute. We actually got the fourth uh, position for today's high scores. So, uh, and we got a little certificate here at 166 words per minute. So my bot is fourth place for today. But as you can see, all these scores are um, going up to 200. So maybe the software limits uh, scores that are above 200. Um, but let's just have fun. Let's try something weird. So let's, let's make it really fast. So let's just make the delay 0 0.001. So now this should be really fast. So I'll start typing and wow, okay, five and a half thousand words per minute. But as you can see, we didn't get a certificate because I think uh, this website limits um, speeds to only be below 200. 
as you can see, the all-time high scores are actually at 199.8, so that means nobody can go above 200. So let's try to see how close we can get to 200 without going over. But first, we'll do a delay of zero. So let's run it. This should be exciting. It should do it instantly. So escape, start typing, and then escape. And let's see. 7,758 words per minute. Fortunately, it's not going to put us in the leaderboards, but that was kind of fun. 0 0.057 should be very close to 200 words per minute because I've tested it. So let's see what happens. So escape, start typing now, escape. Uh, so this one has a lot of weird punctuation, so hopefully it doesn't get messed up. But it seems to be going well. Speed is a little bit over, uh, but it's dropping, so we should be good. We're at a solid 200, but I hope it's just slightly below. So 199, 200, 199, 200. Oh, we got 199.6, so uh, we got a certificate. And today we're first, actually, first out of 1,500 people, um, because the other person got 199.4. Um, and we should be pretty good on the all-time leaderboards as well. Uh, so I think we're actually first for this month of uh, June 2020 as well. Uh, or actually, we're tied for first. There's another person. Um, and unfortunately, I've tested it many times, and I have not been able to get 199.8 or closer. So we're actually 39th on the total ranking, but that's not too bad at all. And unfortunately, my program cannot get 199.8 because every text is different, so it's very inconsistent. Thank you for watching this video. All of this code will be found in the video descriptions along with any links you need for uh, downloads and other tutorials. Uh, hopefully you can make a better bot and maybe you can hit 199.9 and get first on this leaderboard. I encourage you to subscribe to this channel for more fun videos in the future and as always I'll welcome your feedback in the comments. Thank you for watching.